Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back. I'm Ryan Bossery from RyeWire and today we're going to talk about plumbing. All right, so after getting our master cylinder set up and our lines installed and everything mocked up, um, pedal box installed, everything mocked up on that side, getting a good visual of um, clearances and everything back there behind the firewall, and then moving on to our carceps kit and all the alternator relocation installed and water pump modifications done. Uh, next thing that that's leading into is going to be plumbing. So I wanna go over with you guys kind of the plumbing components and the steps that we're gonna to take to plumb the car. We have water lines that we have to do, we have fuel lines, and we got um, luckily no vacuum lines. So it should be a pretty simple job um, and I'll go over that next, so stay tuned. Next thing I did was use um, a kit from Hybrid Racing. So generally there'd be a line, hard line coming out of this neck right here. And since we don't have heat in this vehicle, we um, opted to go with this little kit that um, Hybrid Racing provides with a plug here and then this little bracket to hold the plug down. The plug has a little O-ring on it, so it makes life real easy. You just pop it into place, it seals, you put this bracket on, and you've eliminated that water line. On the other side of the engine, back here, they have another little bolt kit for us. So we unthread the factory barb fitting that comes out of here. I just used a big wrench and just um, socket ended and um, pulled that piece out and then put their little um, logoed, sealed plug right there in the back of the head. So that eliminates the water line that would go to the cab, the cabin, and then it eliminates the water line that would go to the cabin down here at the bottom. So those two pieces easily and effectively eliminate your heater lines. All right, so here's my hose, freshly cut. the ring and the hose end. And I'll show you guys what this thing will look like all assembled, it'll look like that. All right, so I put our gold ring here onto the hose and then as you guys can see, the hose end is kind of on its way on. I haven't secured it all the way down so you can see that it's kind of gapped right now. So I'll push that all the way on and then it'll end up looking like this. As you can see, it turned out pretty good. I didn't actually end up trimming anything extra off of it. Um, one thing that I could tell you, uh, just as kind of a heads up if you're doing something like this, is the best way to have plumbing is to not have anything that's too terribly tight or binding. So line length is always gonna be in your favor. So try to build stuff with hose ends with the longest possible line. That way there's the most amount of flex possible. Um, trying to build stuff with moving parts that are, you know, like a dash 16 hose like this is quite big. And this is, even though this line is extremely flexible for what it is, um, it's still not flexible at dash 16 or 20. So, um, you know, always build with a good amount of line length. It's a lot easier to work with. And in the end, you'll have a lot better product. All right, so here's a quick shot of our lower hose getting mocked up. As you guys could see, there's the lower hose. And when I get to the thermostat housing right here, it's gonna look something like that. So it's gonna be a threaded ORB 16 with a 90 degree hose end, threading into a billet water neck, and then sitting onto the hose kind of like that. So just to get kind of an idea of what the water lines will look like. It's gonna flow out this way, fill cap, down. Our radiator is a dual pass design that has a divider in it, so that's why the lines are on the same side. It's gonna flow down and in, across, and then back out the other side, so out this lower line. So with this XRP HS79 hose being almost $50 a square foot for Dash 16, you want to try to minimize the amount of waste that you have because every inch counts. So on the CRX we got pretty much everything that we could done on the water lines. So I want to show you guys another project that we're working on. Um, it is an 84 to 87 Civic and um, we're doing a very similar thing. So I'll show you guys the water lines that we did on that car. 
So this is our EA Civic, and you guys can see that we also use the HS79 XRP hose on the water lines on this car. And since I was doing the CRX, I was like, you know what, I might as well just finish up the Civic. Um, I ordered enough Dash 16 hose to do both cars, so I finalized this guy too. And that's kind of how it's going to look. It's not crimped yet, but you can get the idea of how it's going to kind of look in the engine bay. Um, I like to use this hose on pretty much all my cars that we do. So, um, yeah, I hope you guys like it as much as we do. And you guys can see the engine bay on this Civic is going to be pretty cool. It's got the Kinsler ITBs in it. So maybe look for this build at some point soon. Um, you can follow along with it on Instagram. We've been doing a lot of video and stuff like that uh, on this car too. So um, stay tuned guys and thank you for checking out the waterline install of the Civic and the CRX. I hope to get the rest of the plumbing done for the Civic and the CRX uh, pretty shortly here and um, I'm gonna order some more parts from XRP.